Hello, my name's Stephen Knight, and this is a Trainerscope presentation from Stephen Knight Training Proprietary Limited. So, our topic today is converting Word documents to PDF. I'm going to be working with Word 2007, and we're going to look at this in three parts. The first part is preparing your document for conversion. The second part is using the built-in uh, conversion tools and the steps with the second part apply with Word 2010 as well. And the third part is looking at using the built-in Acrobat integration if you've got uh, ac the full version of Acrobat, Acrobat Standard or Acrobat Professional uh, installed on your computer. So there's three, uh, three aspects to this. The first one is let's look at converting uh, or preparing our document for conversion. So we have a, a Word document here and it's using uh, some headings. What we've got here is a heading one. If I click down a little bit further here, I have another piece of text that's not actually a heading yet. It's just marked as normal. If I uh, want to convert this to be a heading 1 or a heading 2 or a heading 3, if I go Control alt one is a heading 1, Control alt two is a heading 2, and Control alt three makes that a heading 3. So I've got another heading here, and I could go Control alt three if I wanted to make that a heading 3. And I've got one more heading. Now you'll notice I'm just clicking on the headings. You don't need to highlight them. And this one here might be a heading 2, so I'll go Control alt 2 Now we could also do this using the options here up on the Style panel. So I'm on the Home part of the ribbon. We've got the Style group. Uh, you'll notice I get my Live Preview. And so if I change my mind and said, look, that really is a heading 3, I can click on heading 3. Now, what we're going to do now is I want to have a look at using the styles to control the formatting of my document. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just adjusting my capture area there so that we can see the change styles. Now I'm also going to change my view a little bit so I've just clicked on the view tab and I'm choosing one page just so we can see one page and I might look at that and go look I'd really like to zoom in a little hold down the control key and roll the wheel mouse so I can now see a representative part representative selection of text in the document now going back to the home tab over here on the far left on the far right watch for me on oncoming traffic on the far right we have the Change Styles button. And in the Change Styles button, if I point to Style Set, I can choose, and you'll notice the screen changes as I roll my mouse pointer over these different styles. Now, I'm ultimately going to choose Modern. So I click and choose Modern. Now, in the Change Styles, I'm next going to have a look at changing the colours. And as I roll my mouse over, I can see that the colors change. So I'm getting live preview here. And ultimately, I need to settle on a, a particular color scheme for my document. So I might choose Technic. Single click applies it. Third tool on the change styles is changing the fonts. Again, I get live preview. If I roll my mouse over these, I see the fonts change. Now, if you if you go too quickly, you will find you've got to pause, uh, particularly with older computers, just to give it a moment to catch up. So there's Vedana there, good for on-screen use. So there's a range of these different sets. And I'm going to go with the 20th century one, so choose that. And that's affected my whole document. So I've very quick schemes, uh, styles and fonts taken care of for the whole document. 
Now, while we're using heading styles in part for Acrobat's benefit, as when we convert to PDF, uh, it, you can see you get some benefits here in your presentation. Uh, now, also, up on my uh, home page in my report, on my uh, cover page, I can see my colours and fonts have taken effect there. Now, I'm actually clicking in on page 2. So I'm on page 2, and I want to have a look at tables of contents, because this is another benefit in using your Heading 1, Heading 2, Heading 3. So I'm going to click on the References tab, and again, I'll just adjust my capture area there. And over on the far left, I've got the Tables of Contents tool. Now, if you use the heading styles, this gives us one of a couple of choices here with either Contents or Table of Contents as the heading. Uh, of, But you can change that as well. You can type over that and call it something else. So I'm just going to click Contents. If I scroll up a little, what we can see here is it's gone through my document, picked up the headings, and built a table of contents, the indenting reflecting the structure. Now, if I click within the table of contents, I've also got update table. If I added more content to the document, which might have caused headings to move on to a new page, I might have added new headings, I can click update table, I would suggest going with update entire table here because that way it'll pick up new headings as well as ones where just the page numbers changed. So that's very easy. Now, why did I show you all this? This gives you uh, some advantages when we convert to PDF using either of the two methods we're going to see. What you'll find is that we get bookmarks created wherever we had a heading, so it makes it much easier for people to navigate through a big document or through a procedural document. Also, your table of contents is clickable. So there's a couple of advantages there that make it worth your while if it's a long document to take these extra steps. Use the heading styles, heading 1, heading 2, heading 3, and applying through the References tab a table of contents. So step 2 is going to be converting using the built-in PDF conversion with Office 2007. But first, I'm going to save my document and then...